Greetings from Near Earth Space. This is Martin Connors, Canada Research Chair in Space Science at Athabasca University and Director of the Auroral Observatory. In late September, we had a visit from our colleagues at Stellab in Nagoya, Japan, to move a radio antenna, which is kind of unique. There are only two of them in the world, that receives chorus waves, which are a interesting emission from Earth's radiation belts. So having moved the antenna further away from our observatory, it doesn't get as much interference from the observatory and can detect more of these natural signals. At the same time, the NASA Van Allen probes will be overhead, or uh, what we call conjugate to us, and will pick up the same signals and also the particles in space that generated them. So we stand to learn an awful lot more about the radiation belts that surround our planet. The chorus radiation, although it's quite beautiful to hear and sort of sounds like a song, can indicate some very dangerous conditions that happen in space. The same process that generates the chorus waves can also make so-called killer electrons. And if you're a satellite, then the word killer electrons uh, is a meaningful term for you because that's exactly what it can do to satellites. So trying to understand how killer electrons are generated in space is an important goal of the Van Allen probes. And of course, by observing here on the ground, we obtain measurements that are relevant to understanding that as well.